Hey everybody, it's Joshua Fields Milburn from TheMinimalists.com. Welcome to this new series that I'm going to start. I'll bring some guests on as well. It's called Living Room Conversations. I'm here in my living room in Los Angeles, California, and I'm going to answer your questions. We're going to do the series on YouTube, but I'm going to post this first video on Facebook as well. But if you're watching this on Facebook, you want to watch the rest of them, then of course head on over to youtube.com slash The Minimalist. You'll find the rest of these. I'm going to put out one answer per day for the month of June 2018. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. Our first question is from Liana. Liana asks, what steps do I need to take for the minimalist life to happen? Well, let me just say this. I don't think anything just happens that way, especially anything worth accomplishing or achieving. Although I wouldn't even think of the minimalist life as something that you achieve, that you necessarily get there. What happens is you start simplifying your life. And so what steps do you need to take to simplify your life? I tend to recommend three things for new folks. Number one is ask yourself a question. Before you take any kind of action, you wanna ask yourself an important question. How might my life be better with less? And by answering that question, you identify what the benefits from minimalism might be for you. For me, when I first started embracing minimalism about 10 years ago, it was after two traumatic events in my life. My mother died, my marriage ended. I was looking for some answers and I realized I had a pretty complex life and I wanted to simplify things, right? And so I asked myself, how might your life be better with less? And the first thing that I uncovered was my finances. I made really good money. I was working in the corporate world and I made good money, but I spent even better money, and so I had hordes of debt. So I realized that if I simplified my life, I'd regain control of my financial life. But then, as I simplified, I started to realize all these other benefits. I could reclaim my time, I'd have control of my health, or maybe my relationships, my creativity. The question is, what would simplifying mean for you? Maybe it just means you have a, a tidier home, which is great, right? Uh, so the benefits are different for each of us. Even though we may simplify in similar ways, the benefits are gonna different, be different for me versus you, versus your spouse, versus your friends, versus your coworkers. And so the first thing I do is ask that question. The second thing that, that I tend to do is uh, start small because when you first start, you don't have any momentum at all. You need that inertia to build up over time. And so uh, I, I tend to start with one thing at a time. When I first simplified, I got rid of one item each day for 30 days. Well, that's how it started. But of course, that cascading effect really took in and I got rid of way more than 30 items in the first 30 days. But uh, what I tend to recommend now, and now especially since today is the first day of a new month, I recommend something called the 30-day minimalism game. If you're unfamiliar with it, you can find it over at our website, theminimalists.com slash game. I'll put a link to it on YouTube as well. But uh, basically, here's how the 30-day the minimalism game works. You, you partner up with somebody, a friend, a family member, a coworker. I think that decluttering is usually pretty boring for most of us, so we found a way to make it a bit more fun with some friendly competition. You partner up with someone, and uh, over the course of a month, you decide to get rid of some stuff. On the first day of the month, that would be today or whenever you're starting, the first day of the month, you each get rid of one item. So it starts off really easy. Second day of the month, two items. Third day of the month, three items. Fourth day, four items, so forth and so on. So you get that momentum you need to get started because letting go is really difficult. We feel paralyzed because the average American household has 300,000 items in it. We don't even know where to start. Well, it just starts somewhere. Get rid of one item on day one, and then as the month progresses, day 15, it's pretty hard because I have to get rid of 15 items today, but then on day 16, I have to get rid of 16 items and so forth and so on. Now, whoever goes the longest wins, and if you both make it to the end of the month, then you've both won because you've gotten rid of close to 500 items, and that's a really good start uh, when it comes to simplifying. Also, I'm not a big fan of, of just restraints or constraints all the time, but the third thing I recommend for getting started with a minimalist life, because it doesn't just happen. Uh, the third thing I recommend is setting up some rules for yourself. I'll talk about a few of the rules that I use in my own life and that I've used over the years to help me simplify, but you can create your own rules as well. Uh, one rule that I use is called the 90-90 rule. Whenever I look at an object, I'll ask myself, have I used this in the last 90 days? Like if I look at this lamp here, I was actually using it last night, so uh, it's probably a good example. Have I used it in the last 90 days? And the answer is yes. Uh, if I hadn't used it in the last 90 days, and I'm honest with myself, and I say, am I going to use it in the next 90 days? And if not, then I give myself permission to let go. Now, there will be obvious exceptions to any rule, right? But not always. I, it, what I found is that you set up the rules that are going to empower your journey towards simplifying, right? But realize you never get there. It's like a horizon. Once you reach the horizon, there will always be a new 
horizon. And always keep this in mind as well. If you're trying to organize your stuff, that's often the problem. I think the easiest way to organize your stuff is to get rid of most of it. All right, that's today's Living Room Conversation. If you want more of these, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel over at youtube.com slash The Minimalist. If you don't want more of these, then please don't subscribe. I don't want to spam your, your inbox or, or your YouTube uh, clickings as, as you go through all of this. But I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Look forward to more. I'll bring some special guests on. I know Ryan will be here. And of course, I'll try to drag my partner, Rebecca, on camera as well. All right, y'all. We'll see you soon.